a lot of my work, in my work and even when I work with McQueen, it's, it's a balance between beauty and dark and good and bad. It's always about a balance. Jeweler Sean Lean is responsible for creating the dramatic showpieces that usually punctuate Alexander McQueen's chillingly beautiful presentations. Like McQueen, Lean's work is steeped in tradition and craft. I was really lucky, I was in between two great masters and they taught me everything. Everything one could want to know about goldsmithing. And I worked with them for 13 years and I kind of begun to really feel a hunger for myself to design some of my own pieces. So I luckily then I met Alexander McQueen. He respected where I came from because I was brought up traditionally in the traditional side of the industry like he was in Savile Row. And then um, he asked me to start producing jewellery for his catwalk shows. The biggest piece of jewellery I'd ever made was a tiara. So he wanted me to make bigger pieces than that. So it was quite scary and daunting for me at the time, but very intriguing. He came and said, you know the necklace you made for Bjork? I said, yeah, he said, I want a full body one. Now, I was, I was a goldsmith, so I had to self-teach myself silversmithing to meet the demands of big courses. So it's quite exciting. I had to work with different materials, find out different ways of working with it, soldering it, joining it. Lean and his small team handcraft everything in their studio from the darkly elegant work for his own collections to the many bespoke pieces he has made for McQueen over nearly 15 years of collaboration. We created these pieces and the brief that I got for these was pagan, the feeling of paganism. So I took what they worship, the moon, the stars, the sun, and created the moon and the star. And then we set it with blue topaz and it's all been set in a real traditional way. It's all pave set, claw set, all done by hand. So it's all, it's, it's like a small fine piece of jewelry but I've taken it up a different level in size. And then the moon, yeah, that's just stunning. So this is worn, so the girl's head, it frames her face. It's really quite beautiful. It pierces the neck, goes through the neck, but um, it was about framing her face within the moon, but it still is quite strong as well. You've got that twist. These two pieces for, that I did for the, the show was, it's about the highlands, it's about birds, it's about life, and it's about death. So basically, I came up with doing the eagle skull and we have these beautiful black feathers and we set the stones. So it's really macabre and it's quite dark. And then on the other side, then we, then we created this piece, which was used at the beginning of the show. So this was used at the beginning of the show and this was used at the end. Nice. Life and death. We work really well together. He likes to push the boundaries in fashion and I like to push the boundaries in jewellery. I like to create jewellery that provokes people's minds about what jewellery says and where it should be worn and how it should be worn. And So it's, we're quite a team to be reckoned with over the thought.